Hello everyone, welcome to Jiggy Mats. My name is Sir Jiggs. So what we are going to talk about today is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be the mathematics behind your birthday, our birthday. So on what day of the week you were born? Now, this is not my original idea. I actually read this from plus.mats.org. So for the math teachers out there, make sure that you visit this website because this is a very good website. It's a plus magazine, and you can see the recent article is about the maths of COVID-19. Okay, now let's move on now to the mathematics behind our birthday. Now, I'm not going to present any proof of uh, the procedure, okay? So this is just going to be a simple mathematics. All right, now step one, write the birthday in the correct format. Now, I'm going to use the example of uh, my daughter's birthday, which is actually on Christmas Day, 25th of December, 2002. So make sure that your birthday is written in this correct format. And let's call this uh, 25 as the birthday. December is the birth month. And then 2002 is the birth year. Okay, step two. Add the birthday to the number below that corresponds to your birth month. So plus.mats.org uh, came up with this table. So the mathematicians behind this, very awesome because they came up with something like this. Okay, so we follow this table. So since our example is my daughter's birthday, 25th of December, 2002, so we add the birthday, which is 25, to the number below that corresponds to the birth month, which is December. So that is plus 4 equals 29. All right, now let's remember this result, which is 29, because we need this for step 3. Now step 3 is add the answer from step 2, which was 29, to the number below that corresponds to the decade of your birth year. Okay, so the birth year is 2002. So to the decade of the birth year, so that means it corresponds to 2000. Okay, 2000. So if your birth year is 1975, so the decade of your birth year will be 1970. All right, so the answer from step two is 29 so we should add the number below 2000 which is 0 so the answer is still the same which is 29 okay step 4 add the answer from step 3 to the last digit of your birth year so what is the last digit of our birth year that is 2 so 29 plus 2 equals 31 all right step 5 Look at the third digit of the birth year to know if it's an odd or even decade. Okay, what is an odd or even decade? So, 2002, the third digit is zero. Okay, so we have even numbers or even digits which are zero, two, four, six, and eight. Odd numbers, one, three, five, seven, and nine. So the third digit is zero. That means even, okay? Now, again, we will refer to another table. All right, so since uh, this is an even decade, so we look at this row for the even. All right. And what we're going to do is we look at the last digit of the birth year, which is 2. The last digit is 2, so which means the number corresponding to that is zero so we're going to add this number from the result that we got from step three and that is 31 plus zero equals 31 all right now let's go to step six but before we go to that let's go to let's look at the table so uh the remainder when you divide the answer by seven corresponds to a particular day so if the remainder is zero for example, 14 divided by 7 is equal to 2, then there's no remainder. The day will be Sunday. So if the remainder is 6, then it is Saturday. So let's find out. So the total 
for this example was 31. So that is the total from step 5. So we divide it by 7. That is equal to 4 point something. But the remainder is 3, right? Because 4 times 7 is 28 plus 3 is 31. So meaning, looking at this table, we will have Wednesday. So that means December 25, 2002 was a Wednesday. And that is correct. My daughter was born on a Wednesday. All right. Now, this calculation only works if it's not a leap year. Okay. If it's not a leap year. Particularly if you were born on January or February of a leap year. Okay. So now let's take a look at that situation. So if your birthday falls on January or February of leap, leap years, so what will happen? Okay. So, but first thing that we need to know is how to know if our birth year is a leap year. Okay. So number one, we have to check whether your birth year is an odd or even decade. And we can check that from the third digit of our birth year. So for example, 1972. 1972, the third digit is an odd number. Seven is an odd number. So if it's an odd number, it must end at two or six to become a leap year. If the third digit is even, it must end at zero, four, or eight to become a leap year. So meaning 1972 is a leap year, right? Now, what about this example, 2002? Look at the third digit. It is zero. So that means it's an even decade. Now, what about the last digit? Okay, it is two. So if it's even decade, it must end at zero, four, or eight to become a leap year. Therefore, 2002 is not a leap year. Okay, what about today, this year, which is 2020? All right, is it a leap year or not? Third digit is even and it ends at zero. Therefore, it is a leap year, okay? All right, so if your uh, birthday falls on January or February of a leap year, how are we going to know the day that we were born? All right, so we are going to minus one from the total. You know, the total before you divide it by seven, you just have to minus it from one okay you have to minus one from the total let's take a look at this particular example let's try january 1 1972 new year of that year 1972 so 1972 again we talk about this this is a leap year so what is step number one again we write the birthday or the date in this particular format all right January 1 or 1 January 1972. Step 2 is we refer to the table. Okay, so we add 1, which is the day, to the number corresponding to the month, which is 6. So it's going to be 1 plus 6 equals 7. Step 3. Step 3 is we look at the decade, okay, of our birth year which is 1970. So 7 now plus 4 equals 11. Step 4 is we add the last digit of the birth year. So it's going to be 11 plus 2 equals 13. Step 5 is we check, we determine whether it is uh, an even or an odd decade. So we look at the third digit, that is 7, which means it is an odd decade. And then we look at the last digit, which is 2, so it corresponds to 1. So the next step will be 13 plus 1 equals 14, right? Now this is the additional step. Step 6 is we arrive now at the total. What we're going to do is, since this is a leap here, we minus 1. Okay, from the total 14. So 14 minus 1 equals 13. And the last step is we divide 13 by 7 and then we look for the remainder. So 13 divided by 7 is equal to 1. 
all right? And then there is a remainder of 6. 1 times 7 plus 6 equals <clears throat> 13, okay? So the day that corresponds to 6, what day is it? It's Saturday, correct? So that means if you were born on January 1, 1972, New Year of that year, the day was Saturday. All right, so hope that you learned something from me today. Uh, I hope that you like it. And once again, thank you. If you do have questions, please, please email me at this email address. Okay, so once again, thank you for plus.mats.org for coming up with awesome articles about mathematics. Okay, please do not forget to check it out. All right, thank you once again and goodbye.